a beautiful and ferocious creature. This wild cat may seem exotic to us today, but the lynx was once native to Ireland. Archaeological evidence of the lynx has been found in caves, and there are also strong echoes of such wild cats in the oral tradition. We have evidence in our place names for wild cats existing, and also in our legends and in our myths and in our stories, there is many, many instances where there are wild cats, wild, vicious, dangerous cats protecting uh, places like Lysna and underground tunnels and so on. And the hero in these tales has to kill the cat to succeed in whatever task is before him. Advocates for rewilding are now calling for the reintroduction of the lynx. They say such a predator would help control a growing deer population and help combat the damage deer cause to native woodlands. Wild native habitats like forest are completely grazed bare. The bark is stripped from older trees, killing those too. You know, if we had lynx back, it would, it would help bring balance back uh, in so many ways uh, by regulating the behaviour and numbers of grazers like uh, sika deer and feral goats, but also meso predators like fox and the invasive American mink. Lie down, that'll do. But farmers say the reintroduction of lynx would have a detrimental effect on their livelihoods. We have enough predators here between the fox and the crow and the grey crow, and to have the likes of him around lambing time, Come by. do you know, killing more lambs, killing sheep, and you have young calves and stuff that'll be left out in fields. Like, who's going to be the predator to this animal if they bring it in? Like, it's, it's totally wrong. Lynx reintroduction programmes are underway in other parts of Europe, and conservationists are now seeking meaningful conversation here, exploring the possibility of bringing back the cat. Sean McAteague, RTE News, County Kerry.